Hello everybody, my name is Olaf Falafel and I am an author and an illustrator and a comedian and a dad and other stuff. Uh, I'm also the host of Art Club, which is basically drawing with lots of pens and pencils and stuff and telling stupid jokes. But today, now, and whenever you're watching this, I'm going to be reading a book of mine. It's very shiny. It's called It's One Giant Leak for Mankind. It's very silly, very farty. I think you should enjoy it. Right, hopefully you're all sat nice and quietly and you're not shuffling around on your bums because we're about to begin. The book is called It's One Giant Leak for Mankind. Let's get on with it. Actually, if you look at this page, this is the page not quite in the book at the beginning of the book, but if you look at it, you can see on that newspaper there, it says, Mission to Moon happening soon. So I've written this book entirely in rhyme, which made it a bit trickier to write, but it makes it a lot more fun to read. It's one giant leak for mankind. On a warm July day, just after noon, three men were ready to fly to the moon. Switches were switched and dials were turned. The countdown was counted and rocket fuel burned. A thunderous roar and a great ball of fire. The rocket took off, going higher and higher. And as it broke free from the Earth's atmosphere, the crowd on the ground all started to cheer. For almost four days through space they did glide till the landing pod parted with two men inside. Now that little landing pod there, oh, that's called the Eagle. And you can see it there just coming out of the rocket. And that is the thing that actually landed on the moon. And when it got there, they had a special code phrase that was the Eagle has landed. Anyway, on we go. Are you okay? Asked the man way up high. The eagle has landed, came the reply. So they're safely on the moon now. The men on the moon had jobs to be done. They gathered some rocks, but they also had fun. Then suddenly, both of the men heard a sound. They followed the noise, and quite soon they found a musical troupe of blue moon baboons that played funny tunes on their bottom bassoons. And then you can see a load of those stupid moon baboons, all with very shiny pink bums, all very musical, going <laughs> Look very funny, don't they? I think the astronauts are laughing at them. There they are, they're still making uh, funny tunes there, doing a little bit of a conga dance, going <laughs> And as the space creatures made music so odd, two of them crept off to steal the men's pod. Can you see? Can you see there? You've got two of the moon baboons. They've snuck off. And whilst the astronauts are laughing at the silly moon baboons doing their dance, they're going to steal their pod. One of them's going, shh. And the other one's going, <laughs> whoosh. They've taken it. It doesn't look like they can fly it very well, though. No food, no way home. The men felt quite sad. Their historic mission had quickly turned bad. Day turned to night, and then back to day. Their homes back on Earth seemed so far away. You can see there that they've been stuck on the moon now for a couple of days and a couple of nights, and they've had no food, they're really hungry, and they've got no way of getting back to Earth because their landing pod has been stolen by those cheeky moon baboons, and their families back on Earth really miss them, and they really miss their families. It's not looking good. Let's see what happens. Our heroes were starving. They thought they were done. Then all of a sudden, on monitor one, something is growing. A vegetable freak. Salvation had come in the shape of a leak. And you can see there on the uh, mission control screen, there's a giant leak growing on the surface of the moon. That's a bit strange. I wonder how that got there. 
the fertile moon soil had made a seed thrive. The men ate their fill of this oversized chive. So this huge leek has grown and they've all started to eat this leek and they're not hungry anymore. It's filled their belly. One of them's doing a little burp. But what you may or may not know is that leeks are quite difficult for your body to digest and they fizz around in your tummy and they cause excess gas to build up. And that can only come out in two ways. One of them is a burp. The other one is, of course, one of the men heard a groan from his belly. He let out a fart. It was loud and quite smelly. Another one struck with a powerful roar. And away from the moon, he started to soar. His quick thinking friend was standing quite near. He caught him in time and then had an idea. The men munched on leek till they'd hollowed it out. They both climbed inside and then started to count. I think this is the point where we need to do a quick countdown. Here we go. <clears throat> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift off! And then a huge blast propelled by the power of vegetable farts. You can see them taking off there with a big cloud of leek fart. Their journey back home took almost a week. When they needed more power, the men ate more leek. They landed on Earth in a huge pan of water. First on the scene was a roving reporter. When asked of the rocket that they had designed, the men said, it's one giant leak for mankind. The end. There we go. Did you enjoy that? Hopefully you did. It was quite silly, wasn't it? Actually, the very first bit was based on the real life moon landings of 1969. And if you look in the back of the book, I've done a little fact file because teachers and grown-ups and parents, they love you to learn like real proper stuff, okay? I know we all like to have a load of fun and laugh at moon baboons with their shiny pink bums and farting and giant leaks and farting and landing in giant pans of water and farting, but they like you to learn what actually happened. So if you look in the back of the book, and some of you might know this already, and I might be teaching you stuff you already know, but it's got the three astronauts who went up to the moon. Only two of them actually landed on the moon, and that was Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. And it's got all of the times here. Actually, you know, in my book, when I said they landed in a huge pan of water, that was obviously very silly and very made up. But if you look right at the bottom there, it says on July the 24th, all three men arrived back on Earth after splash landing in the Pacific Ocean. So they didn't land in a giant pan of water, but they did land in a big sea, which is kind of similar, I suppose. Anyway, oh, I hope you've enjoyed that story. It's one giant leak for mankind. You can buy this book from, I would say all good bookshops, but there's, on, there's, only, <laughs> there's only one really good bookshop that I know that you can buy it from, and that's our bookshop in Tring. So you can buy it from them. Uh, it's been a lot of fun to read it to you today. I've been Olaf Falafel. You have been you, I think, or unless you're not you. I don't know, I don't know. I, I've not looked into every single one of your homes, but thank you very much. Bye.